I think people are threatened. Anything about sexuality is threatening. Sexuality and spirituality are at the core of our beings as human beings. It's um, a lot of it defines us. I mean, we are defined as men. We are defined as women. Um, I, when I walk down the street and I see a person whose gender is not clear to me at first, I notice it. And I kind of wonder, is that a man or a woman? Why do I wonder that? What, what difference does it make? They're a human being, but I do it. And I think everyone does. They think, is that a boy or a girl? I mean, one of the hardest pastoral situations I've had uh, with a family, and it happens, is when the child was born, they didn't know what gender it was. The doctors could not tell them right away. And it was unclear. There was a chromosomal difference. And they were given three weeks to choose the gender of their child. And they had to decide, do they go with the, the uh, biologic hormonal makeup, chromosomal makeup, or do they go with the appearance? And how long can you leave that open? And everyone's saying, is it a boy or a girl? That's the first question they ask. You have a baby, is it a boy or a girl? Why not do they say, is it a good person or a bad person? They don't. So gender is primary for us. And when you move from gender then to sexuality, it's about identity. And the majority is always threatened by a minority. Always. I think there's still many, many people still think this is a choice that someone chooses to be a gay man or a lesbian, that they decide, I'm going to choose to be a bank robber, or I'm going to choose to be a journalist, or I'm going to choose to be a soccer player, I'm going to choose to be a gay person. It's simply not true.